guess what? I am gonna be talking about how this month went. I am so excited. This is the first month in like, it, it seems like forever that our budget went as planned. And I am super psyched. We had a couple little overages, underages, but you know, in the relative scheme of things, it was awesome. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. Or if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. You want to hear how my month went? I am super psyched. It was awesome. So I'm going to go down category by category so you can get a general idea of our percentages, how much we're putting to debt, how much we are um, you spending on other things. So the first category um, we have is utilities, which really aren't utilities in the standard sense of the term. We have in our utilities category, we have our storage unit, which is the same every month. And then we also have our cell phones. The utilities category started out at 607 and ended up at 642. The difference being due to a pretty severe illness down in Columbia, there were some extensive overseas phone calls. And normally we would Skype or whatever, but this was an emergency sort of situation. So um, we had some overages. Transportation started out at $680 and ended up being $525, which is pretty normal for us. And the reason is we actually put a huge amount of money in there for gas. And the reason is Mauricio's driving. That's his job, his livelihood. And I would rather way over budget for gas than under budget. Melina's school is the next category. It's 12% of our income, which is painful, but we only have to do it until she starts public school in September. Woo woo, so excited. It's the same every month for the most part. There, with few exceptions, there are no cost changes to her school. Next is our stores category. This is where people put food, toiletries, whatever. In my budget, I divvy it up by store. We were $20 over in this category. That was me. That was Amazon. One of the charges that I had came in like two weeks after and I had forgotten about it. And um, I don't know why, because we received the item and then it came in after we received it like almost a full two weeks before. And I think they just forgot to charge us and silly Wendy didn't use her brain because usually Amazon's not like that. Insurance and taxes stayed the same. They're expected. I know exactly how much they are within. I think Mauricio's life insurance changes like two to three cents every few months. So we do have life insurance for me. We have life insurance for Mauricio and then we have uh, renter's insurance or all of our stuff in storage. Miscellaneous, this is like our blow money, Netflix, pretty much anything that doesn't fit in a good category goes in the miscellaneous category. And we had an overage in this category that drastically affected us. Okay, it didn't, it made me mad though. Mauricio forgot to tell me that he was playing fantasy football. And had I known that, I would have put in the fantasy football charge into our budget early, early on for January because it happens every year. But he was so busy this year, I didn't think he was playing. And the bill came due and he goes, uh, Wendy, I forgot to tell you, I have to pay the fantasy football bill. And I went, you what? So it is what it is. I made the transfer to PayPal and paid the guys and got them off of our back because I don't want to owe people money, especially not friends. The next one is the total debt payment. I'm super, super excited about this category. I was, this is a big payment. Uh, we originally set it at, I think 63% and we ended up paying 61%. The percentage, well, the um, the actual payment didn't go down, but by $100 for the fantasy football. The total debt payments, we ended up paying $7,771 to debt this month, which was super awesome. I was super, super excited about it. It's awesome crossing off that much on our debt progress chart. You have no idea. I was so excited. 
And then, excuse the expletive, but this is what I call the category. We have a category in our budget, which I've alluded to before. It's called We Are Dumb A Double S's. And this is for overages that we don't expect. I always, always, always put a hundred dollar cushion in this the reason is because stuff comes up it always comes up and it's better to have it in there and not spend it and roll it over to the next month than not have it and some months it's more than a hundred dollars and then we do jostling and some months it's not now i could have put this fantasy football into this category and it probably should have gone into this category but for whatever reason i just put it in the miscellaneous category when it came up um but it really should have gone in this category this month i started with a 200 dollar cushion and the reason is well here's the thing it wasn't really a cushion because there was a planned expense in here i knew this was coming and i knew we were going to pay it in january Mauricio got a speeding ticket from a traffic camera so that was $100. I knew it was going to be there. So it's not really a surprise expense, but it falls under the dumb AWS category. So I decided to leave it there. The other miscellaneous expenses we had were $29.99. And those are random little things. So this month we had a budgeted item that we knew we needed to do it wasn't it's a one-time thing mauricio's sister we needed to apply for her to get a green card and we decided to do that it this month because over the last few years every year congress has submitted that they would like to take siblings off of the green card application process that budget item is in a totally separate category but what i did not include in that was the fact that it was going to cost me about 17 dollars to mail that application to immigration because i wanted it tracked because it had a lot of important documents in it and things that if they got into the wrong hands, it could cause a lot of problems for us. So that was, you know, 16, 17 dollars at that. And then Mauricio, sometimes when he's delivering, he has to pay parking meters that are paid for with a card. And so, you know, it's like 50 cents here and there, no biggie, but you know, cost. We never do this, never, ever, 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 ever. But we took Melina to the public library for the first time and uh, like a block away is a cold stone. And so we took her for ice cream after that and we never, ever, ever do anything like that. That is so not stuff we do. Um, and I think that charge was like $9 or $8, something like that. But yeah, we don't we don't even have a going out to eat category in our budget. So then we have the, the medical expenses and um, I think I budgeted in the mid 40s and it ended up being in the 80s. Mauricio hurt his knee while he was working last month and it had been bothering him and we went to you know just a quick urgent care facility and they said if it didn't get better in a couple of weeks that we needed to go and um, see an actual orthopedist so he went to an orthopedist and the orthopedist basically pointed and laughed at him and said stop limping and your knee will stop hurting which was really funny but I paid $35 for that <laughs> But yeah, that's our copay. So, you know, hey, we were actually, you know, both pretty happy that it wasn't anything worse than that. So it'll just get better on its own if he will stop limping around and acting like a drama queen because that's what Mauricio does best. I love you, honey. And finally, we did have one overage, oddly enough, in my YouTube category. Um, usually YouTube is just a less than $10. I have a couple of paid subscriptions to things I use for like editing thumbnails and you know, these cute little graphics like this one. When I add those in, I have to use a, I pay a subscription fee to pick monkey, which I love by the way, but that's a totally different story. And I also do have an analytic thing that I use. So, but those are less than $10. But this month, my computer, which has been crapping out on me regularly for as long as I can have had it basically, decided that it was going to completely crap out on me 
And so I had to invest money in an external hard drive because I have some really big videos on there that are clogging everything up and slowing everything down and nothing was working. And until I got those off, I couldn't do anything. But the good news is I don't think it'll affect my upload schedule. And hopefully this is a long term fix. We went ahead and we did sinking funds like we had planned and obviously didn't have to use it. So all in all, we stayed on budget. We don't normally budget this well. So it worked out really well, which is really nice after December because December was a nightmare. So anyway, that's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.